Hello, lovely people. Uh, this is Nova, a spot micro clone. It's just about complete. Um, this will probably take a couple of videos, uh, as opposed to doing one long video and boring you all to death. So like, share, and subscribe, and hit that alert button, as they say, if you want to see the other videos coming soon. Um, I've been 3D printing for about six months ago. Um, it's so much fun. <laughs> As you can see back there, I did a nice tool bench, tool organizer. I've printed all kinds of stuff. But then I discovered the... Um, I've always been blown away by Boston Dynamics Spot Mini. And then I discovered the Spot Micro project on Thingiverse, where a gentleman went ahead and engineered all of the parts to be 3D printed. So I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and... Given my newfound hobby of electronics, decided to give it a shot. Um, I built a hexapod about a year ago. Um, you could see a bunch of videos of that in my channel if you like, build videos even. Unfortunately, I didn't make any build videos for this project. Um, I was just, it, it took a long time. I moved during the build and such, so yeah, I, I didn't take the time to shoot build videos. However, I've redesigned a lot of the plastic parts. Um, not redesigned completely, but made little improvements, little tweaks. Like I've created a wire chase for here to hide some of the wires. These are the older parts. I've also thickened up some of the um, panels because they tend to break here very, very easy at these screw points, bottom as well. Uh, the bottom I also had to beef up a bit to give me more room for my battery under there. So I've made some changes that I plan to just reprint it all and rebuild it. So when I do that, I will definitely shoot build videos. Um, and then because I'm so excited about 3D printing, I went ahead and scaled the whole thing down and was able to make a whole nother one. Um, I couldn't tell you the scale offhand, but it's almost two to one because I did it to take um, to use micro servers, servos. Uh, these are all Metal Gear as well, but unfortunately during my move, you can see how small she is now that my hand's in here. Unfortunately, during my move, she fell off the table, and while you can hear that servo is still intact, this one's not. <laughs> this one's not. So she fell, and yeah, a few of the servos took a hit. So I'll have to rebuild her, and I'll, I'll do build videos at the time of her as well. But, um, as I said, my I'm calling her Nova, too. Nova SM2 is pretty much done. I mean, I haven't done inverse kinematics for coding yet. And some of the hardware I'm still debating on using or not. Like I have a human interface uh, sensor up here, which I thought would be cool if you get too close, she like attacks you, but it, it's really all just gimmicky stuff. Um, I even went ahead and built a whole voice remote control for her. Uh, this module here that I just glued on to this PS2 controller. Um, I, I don't have the mic on it right now because I decided to another, it's just gimmicky. Yeah, I could say sit. Nova and she sits whoopty ding dong so <laughs> not to overload the microprocessor um, for you geeks I'm using a uh, Arduino Mega in here but not the full size board it's a smaller version of the board it's pretty cool but I will get into electronics next time because there's a lot to talk about with the power management and all that stuff all right, so yeah, I'm just going to shoot a video of a little demo mode that I put together of her doing a bunch of the moves that I programmed. And then, yeah, like I said, um, follow my channel if you want to see build videos.